All right, so we start off with this goofy ass quote from the guy who this movie is about, which really had me thinking it would be trash. We then get some nice tense music as Russell Crowe pulls up on a moped to this little town in Italy, because as you may have guessed, he has to perform an exorcism. He goes to the house where the possession has taken place, feels out the vibes, and tells his little helper bitch to go get the pig that they saw before they walked in. What could he be cooking? He walks into the bedroom to find this dude tweaking out of his goddamn mind, just getting slutted out by this random demon that thinks that he's Satan. And Russell Crowe pretty much calls him fraudulent. Then he's like, if you can possess anyone, why would you possess a random boy? Actually, you probably can't even possess this pig, pussy, you little coward. And at this point, I'm like, there's no way this thing is dumb enough to possess the pig, right? It's dumb enough to possess the pig. <laughs> so when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I had no idea what the tone of it was supposed to be. It looked like a religious action movie with the witty old head as the main character. I even chuckled a bit while watching it. I also figured that because it was an exorcism movie, there would probably be a lot of cliches, and it probably wouldn't be better than this or this. So my expectations were in hell. And while I think this movie is aggressively mid, the directing is good, the acting is good, and Russell Crowe carries. It's definitely not terrible. But it is just another exorcism movie that also happens to be deeply unserious. My name is Nightmare. My Nightmare is France winning the World Cup. <laughs> Now in this movie, we have a family that just inherited an abbey in Spain, whatever that means, that they're looking to fix up and sell because the father just died and they need money. But the problem is, and you guessed it, this place is haunted. The other key characters, of course, Russell Crowe playing Gabriele Amort, the chief exorcist of the Vatican, who's currently involved in some church politics because the church generals don't want him doing exorcisms anymore. If somebody gets possessed, it's above us. Let that motherfucker die. But Russell Crowe isn't trying to hear any of this and walks out and tells him to eat a dick. To be honest, none of this really matters that much. We go back to the family and the son Henry is now fully possessed. Absolute geeker. And he has reached the point where he is just on freak timing. Because when his mom tries to come give him a hug, he just chaotically grabs her titty. Henry, no. Bro. Look at his face. Listen, I understand that sometimes you need some milk with your cookies, but ladies and gentlemen, we have a real sicko on our hands. Stop! This baby's hungry, you fat cow! He's clearly been watching way too many breastfeeding videos. Low key, he's just like me. You never breastfed me, mommy! Nah, this is crazy though. Then he just lifts up his shirt and he has the word hate scratched into his stomach. Do you know how much of a hater you have to be to do this? The hate isn't even directed at anything specific. He's just mad for no reason. You never breastfed me, mommy. I'm gonna take a fat shit and use your all white vans to wipe my ass. Then he's just like, bring me the priest. Pretty much he's saying, bring me your strongest warrior. The family brings him a priest, but he wants Russell Crowe. That little yell is hilarious. So word gets back to the church that Henry is spazzing out in Spain and the Pope sends Russell on a mission to go fix it. I must say, these vibes are immaculate. Also, I wanna mention that Russell Crowe's character is probably one of, if not the coolest movie priest I've ever seen. He makes jokes, he drinks whiskey to clear his throat, he rides his little moped, he's a cool guy. So Russell goes to see Henry and the two have a little banter. The demon says that he possessed Henry because he was fiending for some innocent human flesh, but that he prefers the challenge of trying to take an exorcist soul. Russell Crowe then tries to get the demon to say its name because it makes it weaker if a person knows it. I'm not some stupid you convinced to get into a pig. I love that they're acknowledging that the other demon was an idiot. The demon then reveals that he knows Russell's name and proceeds to cough up an entire bird that has not been chewed at all. This thing really deep-throated one of the birds you get from PetSmart, that's crazy. Russell Crowe then goes and gets the other priest who happens to be there, Thomas, to help fight the demon. And from the jump, this thing is talking crazy. I'm going to fuck you. You'll sense yourself coming. Freaky ass demon, bro. I'm a slut, what's up? They start praying and this thing starts gagging. It looks like the prayer is beating its ass, but nah, it's just trolling. 
It starts toying with Russell, making him see a hallucination of this fine woman from his past that he apparently let die. More on her later. Then he moves on to Thomas, and he's like, bro, I know you'd be fucking your boss's daughter, and I know you'd rather be getting your dick wet than be here right now. And Thomas's stupid ass just gets mad and starts trying to choke him out, which is what the demon wants, and Russell has to calm him down. The two regroup, and Russell realizes that the demon has bigger plans than just possessing the boy. So he goes to investigate the garden outside, and finds a well that's covered by a top with the seal of the Vatican on it. I suppose this is big news. During this time, Thomas, who was supposed to just stand outside of Henry's door, goes in to check on him and gets a portion of his ear nibbled off. Then the demon starts trolling some more. Henry's sister Amy just gets snatched out of her bed so disrespectfully, and his mom gets dragged into her bed by a singular arm. After realizing that something sketchy is definitely underneath the abbey, Russell Crowe comes back inside, gets the demon to chill out, and tells Thomas to come explore with him. And the two are just in full-on detective mode. They find some clues and shit, you know how it goes. Now at this point, the movie just turns into pure chaos, and tries to do way too much. So pretty much, Russell Crowe and Thomas find out that a long ass time ago, some exorcist got possessed and started wiling. He infiltrated the church and started this thing called the Spanish Inquisition, where a bunch of people were persecuted and tormented. Bro was going crazy. And essentially, the church tried to cover this up by hiding a bunch of stuff and sealing the demon under this abbey, because they probably felt like dumbasses for letting it happen. And an explosion caused by the construction workers earlier in the movie allowed the demon to be released. During all this, we have this subplot where the Pope is also finding out this information, and it damn near kills him, like he projectile vomits blood. That thing bleeding through the, you know what I mean? Russell and Thomas then find out that the name of the demon possessing Henry is Asmodeus. Who? And speaking of which, he's tweaking again. This thing is using telekinesis, breaking glass, and causing the Pope to die even though he's in another country, yet it's been in the bed this whole time. It just like won't get up. And it's like I kinda get it, but he's not even tied up. You never breastfed me, mommy! Alright, so the priests figure out the demon wants to possess Russell Crowe and infiltrate the church just like he did back in the day. And also raise an army of the fallen angels. Yeah, I know. So Russell confesses his sins to rid himself of his biggest burden before the final battle. The sin in question is that once he had a case where this girl was like, at night, the devil pipes me. He be blowing my shit, no cap. And Russell Crowe was like, you're not possessed, you just need therapy. And she, uh, yeah, not great. So they go to see Henry, who now looks atrocious, and fight the demon. And after unloading the clip on Asmodeus, he responds by writing God is not here in Henry's stomach and possessing Amy while still being in control of Henry. So this thing can possess multiple people at the same time. That is so cheese. Realizing that they're outmatched, Russell Crowe lets the demon possess him to save everybody else. So Russell is now possessed and going through it. The demon won't even let him off himself. Thomas then comes to help fight the demon using religious words. I you the CGI is crazy. Then I kid you not, this naked woman covered in blood pops out of this random coffin and tries to kill him. But he uses a metal that Russell gave him to make her bubble up and explode like those monsters from Scooby-Doo. Oh, I forgot to mention that there's another demonic thing that's supposed to look like the girl that Russell Crowe let die. They use a cross to push her into this small body of water, which just turns into this nasty CGI lava. Then it goes to hell, I guess. This is disgusting. And then the movie ends. The family is all good, and Russell Crowe sets off with Thomas to go exercise the demons at all the other 199 locations where God is not welcome, as the movie sets up a sequel that will likely not happen. So unserious.